Right now, two people were found stabbed inside a Sun Prairie home. What we know about the search for suspects. Also, Madison's mayor unveils her capital budget, what she has in store for John Nolan Drive. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Sun Prairie Police are looking for a suspect who stabbed two people early this morning. Officers were sent to a home on Jones Street just before 3 a.m. after someone called 911. Police said the suspect left the scene before they arrived. Both victims were taken to a local hospital. One person suffered life-threatening injuries and another suffered non-life-threatening injuries and is in stable condition. Police say that the attack is not believed to be random and there is no present danger to the community. Madison's mayor wants to rebuild John Nolan Drive. Mayor Satya Rose Conway unveiled her 2023 capital budget today at Olin Park. It details her proposal for buildings, infrastructure, and other capital investments in the city. She highlighted investments in affordable housing and climate change. And she wants to rebuild the iconic gateway to the city. In this budget, I am investing $21 million of federal and local funds to rebuild John Nolan Drive including its aging causeways, bridges, and bike paths. Coupled with our Lake Monona waterfront design competition, we are laying the foundation for a new Madison waterfront. The mayor's proposed budget will be introduced to the Common Council tonight. Let's head to the Weather Center now, or meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at a Look at the forecast. Yeah, things are nice <laughs> out there, Mark. It's really quiet. We had a lot of that fog out there earlier on, but now that fog has really moved out, and it's a beautiful day. If you're hanging on to summer, if for some reason you're like, no, I'm not going back in to work or school yet, you want to go out on the boat, Sure, go for it. 76 is where those temperatures top out this afternoon. We'll have that sunshine around for dinner time as well. Look at that beautiful sky. 74 is where the temperature is right now at this moment. High resolution radar, as expected, is all quiet for us across southern Wisconsin and the Madison Metro. Temperatures over the next 12 hours, again, top out right around 76. We'll slide back down into the 50s overnight tonight, but we keep that sunshine around for, again, the rest of this afternoon. There's one thing, though, that I do want to bring up, and that's going to be a first warn. As I say all the time, we're your first warn weather team. We like to keep you in the know. I am watching the weekend for perhaps some soaking rainfall around here. Lots going on this weekend. I'll speak on this in more detail coming up. It's like the sixth weekend in a row that's rainy. It would be. We've had a lot of rainy weekends lately. Time is everything. All right, Chris, we'll check back. Memphis police have confirmed a body they found Monday is in fact the Memphis woman who was kidnapped last Friday. Eliza Fletcher's body was discovered yesterday after extensive searches over the long weekend. Police have identified and charged the suspect, 38-year-old Cleotha Abson. Abson was previously arrested for the kidnapping of a prominent local attorney, Kemper Duran, in 2000. At just 16 years of age, Abson received a 24-year sentence. Today is a very sad day in the city of Memphis. First, I'd like to express our sincere condolences to the family, friends, and numerous others who have been impacted by the tragic and heinous kidnapping of Eliza Fletcher. Abson is facing charges of first-degree murder and first-degree murder in perpetuity of kidnapping. Another hearing is set for Wednesday morning. A New Mexico State District Court judge has disqualified Cowboys for Trump co-founder Coy Griffin from holding public office. Griffin is currently a county commissioner. The judge's ruling permanently prohibits Griffin from holding or seeking local or federal office. Griffin was previously convicted in federal court of a misdemeanor entering the Capitol grounds on January 6th. He was sentenced to 14 days and given credit for time served. The U.N. Atomic Watchdog Agency is urging Russia and Ukraine to establish a safety and security protection zone around a nuclear power plant, and that shelling around the plant should stop immediately. This morning, a rocket attack on Ukraine's second largest city destroyed a residential apartment building. Kharkiv is close to the Russian border and has been under constant shelling throughout the conflict. Three people were rescued from under the ruins of the apartment building. A few others sustained minor injuries, but three people have been killed in that region over the past few days including an elderly woman. 
A new and worrisome school year began this morning for public schools in Uvalde, Texas. Robb Elementary School, the site of the shooting in May, will not reopen. Students began arriving at Uvalde Elementary before dawn, walking through newly installed eight-foot metal fencing that surrounds the campus and past a state trooper standing guard outside an entrance. Some teachers hugged students climbing out of cars in the drop-off line and guided them toward other teachers in turquoise shirts who were waiting for them behind the fence. It was the first day of school for more kids in our area this morning, including those in the Sun Prairie Area School District. We were at the brand new Sun Prairie West High School this morning as students entered the building for the very first day of classes. Principal Jan Puger, Pluger, that is, is excited to welcome students and staff back for the 2022-23 school year and to see where this new facility takes them. When I give tours of this beautiful facility, I say we're pushing out of walls everywhere that we go. So when we talk about creating the future, we're creating the future of um, Sun Prairie West High School, obviously, um, in partnership with our other two high schools, East and PPA. We're creating the future of Sun Prairie and Sun Prairie Area School District, and we're creating the futures up for our students each and every day. We're ready to go. Sun Prairie residents passed a $164 million referendum three years ago in order to fund the new school. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. We'll see how investors react to news of a big merger in the healthcare sector and the United Kingdom's new prime minister appointed by the Queen in an unusual setting. That's all coming up. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Are you tired of your outdated kitchen and ready for a brand new look? Call Wisconsin's number one remodeler, Mad City Kitchens, your trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing. Choose from dozens of colors, including white satin and stone gray. Surfaces are durable and stain resistant for easy cleaning and long lasting beauty. Add an extra touch of luxury with soft closing doors and drawers. You can have your dream kitchen installed in as little as two days. And listen to this. It's our Upgrade Now Pay Later event. Receive 24 months, no payments and no interest. Senior and military discounts. Get a $250 Mad City gift card with cabinet refacing purchase. Use it as an instant discount or for future home improvements. Plus call during this program and save more with half off labor. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. GTW is different from the competition because we bring three offices at once to one case. A team of excellent lawyers from around the state to bring justice for the needs of our clients. All in to win. Jim Grass, Thompson and Walks. In 1983, Senator Johnson's daughter was born with a serious heart defect. Dedicated doctors and nurses saved her life. Family became the most important thing in his life, and it still is. He has always enjoyed the simple things in life, the outdoors, fishing, hiking, camping, cross-country skiing, Packer and Badger games, rec league softball, and playing guitar. And did I mention fishing? As a U.S. Senator, he fought to secure tax cuts for 95% of American Main Street businesses so they could stay competitive with the big guys and survive the pandemic. His right to try law has given terminal patients freedom and hope and saved many lives. And his Joseph Project has transformed lives by helping people get good paying jobs and be proud of earning their own success. Senator Johnson went to Washington for all the right reasons. I should know because I am that daughter and I've been watching my dad help others for 39 years. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Save 11% and all Dutch Boy paints now at Menards.
CVS Health says it is buying Signify Health for about $8 billion, including debt. Signify, through the technology it provides and its more than 10,000 employees, helps CVS with its push toward in-home patient care. The companies say they expect the deal to close in the first half of next year, pending shareholder and regulatory approval. California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed a measure giving more than a half million fast food workers in the state more power and protections. It comes despite the objections of restaurant owners who warn that it would drive up consumers' costs. The new law creates a 10-member fast food council empowered to set minimum standards for hours and working conditions in California. The panel also has say over minimum wage for fast food workers and could hike them to as high as $22 per hour next year. And government regulators in Ireland are fining Instagram about $400 million after an investigation found the social media platform mishandled teenagers' personal information in violation of EU data privacy rules. Instagram parent company Meta says it disagrees with the fine and plans to appeal. That is your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Matt Piper. Check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial, whoops, we forgot to put the numbers in. Last time I looked, though, the Dow was up like 300 points, so it's a plus day on Wall Street so far. The leadership of Britain's government changed hands this morning with a familiar ceremony in an unfamiliar place. The new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, met with Queen Elizabeth at her country home in Scotland. Usually the handover takes place at Buckingham Palace. It followed a farewell from Boris Johnson, who handed his resignation to the Queen earlier in the day. Let me say that I am now like one of those booster rockets that has fulfilled its function and I will now be gently re-entering the atmosphere and splashing down invisibly in some remote and obscure corner of the Pacific. Well, not quite. After all, he is still a sitting member of Britain's parliament, but he did formally hand off to the incoming prime minister who faces a number of pressing issues, including soaring prices, labor unrest, and an energy crisis triggered by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Pam has today's egg prices along with Chris's forecast. And then today on Live at 4, as we head into a new month, Consumer Reports shows us the best post-Labor Day buys for September. At iMart Express, you'll save on glasses for classes. For 79 bucks, get two pairs with KidSafe polycarbonate lenses and a free one-year frame warranty. Don't let the bell ring before you get a chance to save. A $200 value, all for 79 bucks. Updating your kitchen doesn't have to be complicated. With Mad City Kitchens, you can avoid a lengthy remodel, stay under budget, and transform your kitchen in as little as two days. And our customers can't get enough of the soft closed doors and drawers. We actually opted for an upgrade and we have the soft closing doors and drawers and I'm really excited about that. And I really like those so that they don't slam when you go to close them. Yes, that was a nice other feature as well. It's time to call during our Upgrade Now Pay Later event. Receive 24 months, no payments and no interest. Senior and military discounts. Plus, with your cabinet refacing project, receive a $250 Mad City gift card. Use it as an instant discount or for future home improvements. And call during this program for extra savings with half-off labor. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Dear Senator Johnson, living on a fixed income, it's a struggle. I paid into Social Security and Medicare every paycheck. So it was a slap in the face when you voted to weaken Medicare. That would increase out-of-pocket costs. And when you wanted to let Wall Street gamble with Social Security. Senator Johnson, you look out for yourself and your fat cat donors, but have forgotten about us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. iMart Express owns selection, price, and speed. Need single vision? Get two pairs starting under 40 bucks. Progressives, two pairs start under 80. Nobody beats us guaranteed. iMart Express, right classes, right price, right now. Back to School Week continues in the 608. Today we took you inside the brand new Sunbury West High School. Tomorrow we're going to Wanakee. Plus, weekend rain chances are on the increase. That's tomorrow morning from 430 to 7. Do you remember me? This is the first day of my show. I hope 
my fans feel on top of the world by the time they leave the Jennifer Hudson show. Jennifer Hudson, weekdays at 3, starting September 12th. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in with Pam Yankee now from the Midwest Farm Report on this fake Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of that same way. I got to get back in the groove a little bit after the three-day weekend there. Getting back in the groove for, for sure down in Chicago. You know, maybe over the weekend you had a chance to visit one of our Wisconsin apple orchards. The crop looks very good according to the growers that we've had a chance to visit with. But some of the elements that you might enjoy at that apple orchard could cost you a little bit more this year. You go to the orchard, maybe there's something like a... a apple cider donuts or hot uh, apple turnovers, something like that. Well, the ingredients that go into making those products is actually escalated in cost. Kate Farrell is with Valley Co-op, and she works specifically in providing those mixes and those kinds of ingredients to a lot of our apple orchards across the state that want to do a little something extra for you when you visit. She said that in some cases, they are seeing a three-fold increase in the cost on some of those elements, and she says that supply chain issues are still a big part of what they're dealing with. She said there are not many inst uh, substitutions rather that they can use for some of these ingredients. So if you're at a app at at an apple orchard and you get an apple cookie mix, uh, they have a couple different things that they might have changed up in a year. But the bottom line is it's not necessarily the apples that are going to cost you a lot more this year, but it might be those extra ingredients or those extra elements that you like to enjoy while you're at the apple orchard. I still say get out there and enjoy it. Remember the Wisconsin Apple Growers website, WA WAGA.org. WAGA.org. So markets today in Chicago, the only soft spot I'm noticing are soybeans. A real big concern that South America has got a lot of acres that are coming on for 2023, so keep an eye on that. Barrel cheese today in Chicago was up a penny and three quarters at 187 and a half. 40 pound black cheese down a half at 176. Holy man, look at this butter. Up two cents today, Mark. 312 a pound. That's getting a little toppy. People are going to start to notice that in the marketplace, and we already notice it as far as ingredients for food. So keep an eye on that butter market, too. Absolutely. Lots of things to keep our eyes on. Oh, yeah. All right. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. Here's Chris now with a look at the forecast. Yeah, I was talking about a rain chance that we are watching by the time we get towards the weekend. I want to take a moment and really dive into that rain chance and what we could be looking at as we start to move ahead. So there are three things to know. Of course, today is pleasant. It's a good start to the work week. We are going to see a return of some 80s, by the way. That takes us through Friday. But again, possible storms by the weekend. Look at some of the rain chances. We stay dry, but we get towards Saturday and we really start to see those rain chances on the increase. In fact, Sunday could be more widespread borderline washout around here. Now, we're still some days away from this, so I'm not going to go all in just yet. But nonetheless, I continue to really watch this pattern. So here we are. This is 1 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. You see the clock. This is a cold front that starts to arrive from the north and west at this point. As that inches southward, an area of low pressure will also develop. That likely leads to more in the way of some rain Sunday into Monday as well, potentially lingering into Tuesday. But the question is, where exactly will everything line up? The slower that area of low pressure is, the more and more We'll see that sit and meander around here, but still could be uh, some beneficial rainfall around here. We're talking maybe an inch of rain in some spots and where that low really sits, perhaps more than one inch of rain. So again, drought busting rains are possible as we start to move towards the weekend. It's still some days away. We'll keep a close eye on it. For now, we get to enjoy all the sunshine that we do have out there. That sunshine sticks around for the rest of today, the rest of tomorrow, and the rest of the next day, too. Temperatures are comfortable. 73 for Janesville right now. Some 60s back towards the north and west. 69 in Prairie du Chien. 68 for our friends in Viroqua right now. Lone Rock, you're at 76. It's comfortable there. 70 for Stoughton. 72 in Cross Plains, Mount Horeb, and Sauk City. Same for Sun Prairie in Verona. Belleville, you're also at 72 at this point, 74 for us at the airport. Not a lot of movement to the air, so we're keeping it comfortable. And then our dew points are into the upper 50s. When dew points are into the 50s, that's the true dry air that's real comfortable and real nice when you step outside. This is 430 this afternoon. We'll see our temperatures again into the upper 70s at that point. We'll cool things off into the 50s for your overnight lows. Tomorrow, 
We see more sun, but we'll see a change in the wind direction and it will gradually become more southerly. This means our days start to warm up just a wee bit and we'll start to see our highs in the 80s. So this is going to be the driving factor behind more of those 80s that we'll start to see as we move forward. So again, for the rest of this afternoon, look for the sunshine. Temperatures will be into the 70s. Mostly clear skies tonight, overnight lows into the 50s. I will not be surprised if much like last night, we see some areas into the 40s tomorrow. It's the upper 70s and more low 80s will show up for your afternoon highs, but you keep that sunshine around 82 on Thursday, 83 on Friday. Here comes the rain chances by Saturday and we'll keep the chance of rain in the forecast through Tuesday. All right, nice. Nice for now, though. It is nice for now, though, and it's it's starting to feel a little bit more seasonable. These temperatures perhaps warrant all the pumpkin spice craze going on <laughs> right now. Uh, so we'll take it. All right. Thank you, Chris. Well, Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen now, and he's going back to basics to figure out which pasta to buy. If you've been to the pasta aisle lately, you've definitely seen how many options there are. Long gone are the days when there were just a couple of shapes to choose from. There are still all the basics, as well as a bunch of new shapes and varieties. And let's not forget about all the trendy pastas that are gluten-free, low-carb, non-GMO, and on and on. But today, we're getting back to basics with a pasta toss that you're sure to love. We start by melting some butter in a small skillet, along with a good amount of olive oil, garlic, basil, oregano, salt, and crushed red pepper. Now, before draining our pasta and broccoli, which we cook together to save us from having to wash another pot, we take half a cup of the cooking liquid and set it aside. Then we drain the rest of it like we usually do. We put it in a bowl and toss it with the cooking water that we reserved, along with the flavor-packed butter sauce. To give it even more flavor, we add cut-up pepperoni and some Parmesan cheese. Doesn't this look amazing? You could even hearty it up with some cooked chicken or shrimp. To get the recipe for our shells and broccoli, all you have to do is visit our website. It's the kind of dish that's perfect when you just don't know what you feel like making for dinner. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a deliciously simple way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. And next to noon, Angie Edge from the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin is going to cook up a corn salad for us. Stay tuned for that. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The kitchen is where family comes together, recipes come to life, and memories are made. So let Mad City Kitchens make your kitchen look its best with cabinet refacing. Our design consultants make it fun and easy to come up with a look that best fits your style and space. With dozens of colors and wood finishes to choose from, modern hardware options, plus new countertops and a kitchen sink backed with a lifetime warranty. We install in as little as two days, so don't wait. It's our Upgrade Now Pay Later event. Receive 24 months, no payments and no interest, senior and military discounts, and get a $250 Mad City gift card with your cabinet refacing project. Use it as an instant discount or for future home improvements. And last chance to call during this program for additional savings with half-off labor. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. Husband said to give our house more curb appeal. So I started painting. Then I went on Google and looked up the meaning of curb appeal. It said to make it more nicer. So I called Replacement Window Center and they put in new replacement windows. 
Get free installation and 0% financing for 18 months. Free installation and 0% financing. Hurry, call now. Replacement Window Center. Our name says it all. Boys just eat and eat and eat and grow and grow and grow. We watch every penny that we spend. Joe Biden knows what it's like for working families. Just look at what he's been doing. Biden just helped pass the Inflation Reduction Act. Not only is it the strongest action on prescription drugs in years, it's the strongest action on combating climate change ever. And it's going to lower the cost of our energy bills and lower the cost of prescription drugs and health care. This is going to change our lives. And Joe Biden got it done. Angie Edge from the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin joining us once again. Good to see you. Good to see Happy you. Happy September. Yeah. What are we making today? Well, in September, everyone is getting so much fresh produce from their gardens, roadside stands, so it's a perfect time to really pair these fresh Wisconsin vegetables with, of course, Wisconsin cheese. Absolutely. So we're making a homemade uh, Mexican corn salad that has a homemade basil dressing, very fresh and flavorful for this time of year, especially if you're not sure what to do with all this corn and tomatoes and, and cheese <laughs> that we have. Um, so so today we're featuring a queso cotilla cheese, and it's actually made locally. It's made in um, Monroe, Wisconsin. Really? And you notice that it has that proudly Wisconsin <laughs> seal. It's actually surprising how much Hispanic-style cheese is made right here in Wisconsin. We lead the nation in Hispanic I mean, style. This looks like it's, it's direct from Mexico. No, it's direct from Wisconsin. There you go. So queso cotilla is like the Parmesan of Mexico. It has a lot of fla bold flavor, so it gives the corn salad a lot of good flavor. So the first thing we're going to do is we actually grilled uh, five years of corn and brushed them with lots of real Wisconsin butter. And I have that in the bowl right here. So you just slice it right off the corn. Easy to do. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's a homemade basil dressing that just takes a few minutes to whip up in your food processor. So it's um, basil. There's also some oils, a little lemon juice, some garlic. It gives it a lot of great flavor. Fresh basil oh, is also just a great, great flavor right now. Um, there is some diced red onions that we're going to add to the salad. Give it a little kick. There is some jalapeno, so people are getting fresh uh, peppers too. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the star ingredient is that Wisconsin cotilla cheese, like the the Parmesan of Mexico that we're adding to that salad. So it also comes in a salad form. Yep, it comes in a salad form, and we make so many varieties. So there's a queso cotilla, a queso fresco. This is like the farmer's cheese of Mexico. Um, there's lots of uh, sh uh, cheeses that melt really well as well. So Always look for that proudly Wisconsin badge because you're probably surprised that some of these cheeses are coming, in fact, from Wisconsin. And this is the name of the... Of yep, the... El Viajero. It's made by Sobra Sewer Foods in, in Green County, Wisconsin. So, <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and just mix it up here so it's uh, super easy to make. You can see on the plate over there, I also served it with some shrimp skewers. You can put that same basil dressing right on your shrimp or chicken on the grill, and it's just so flavorful. I forgot oh, to add the, the tomatoes, tomatoes the color. Yeah, so one in one half cups of cherry tomatoes that have been split and had as half as well but it's just a beautiful fresh and really seasonal salad so I uh, can't wait for you to try it. Yeah it really it really is great and this is Look for the made from Wisconsin. Look for the probably Wisconsin cheese, and you can find um, this recipe on our website, wisconsincheese.com, as well. There so. it is on your screen. Happy fall, Happy right? Fall. Beginning of fall. It's still summer. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a great yeah. summer dish. Yeah, perfect for the season. Use up all that produce. Yeah. And you're good to see Thank you. Thank you. Here's Chris now with one final check of the forecast. Hey, we're enjoying a, a little spike of summer-like temperatures, though, as we go into this fall weather pattern. Look for temperatures more so into the 80s for the rest of the week. So after today in the 70s, we'll be into the 80s tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. But then we flip a switch, folks. Rain chances increase by Saturday afternoon and evening. Sunday, we may struggle to get out of the 60s. For your highs. Rain chances all day long on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we could see chances for some showers too. It's all about how quickly we're able to get an area of low pressure on out of here, but then more mid 70s as we start to move towards the middle of next week as well. But also next week, a lot of your morning lows are crisp with temperatures starting you out into the low and mid 50s. So we're getting closer and closer to fall. Yeah, it's getting darker a little earlier every night. Yes, it is. I've noticed that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.